Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. You know, recently, a big study was conducted analyzing the Mediterranean diet and its benefits for health. And they analyzed the components of the Mediterranean diet, trying to understand exactly what it is in this diet that promotes such good health. And you know what they found? They found the key, the cornerstone element to the Mediterranean diet is olives, olive oil, and olive leaf extract. That's right. The essence of good health is, can be found in this sub. The olive tree, what a gift, what a gift. This is our topic for today, the health benefits of olive leaf extract. We'll even talk a little about olive oil too. That's our concept for today. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Expectant mothers should be careful about chemical exposure. New research from the University of York published in the European Journal of Neuroscience finds exposure to common household chemicals during pregnancy may increase the risk of baby developing one of the varied autism spectrum disorders. The list of chemicals suspected of increasing the risk of autism is long, but includes common household agents such as cleaning solvents, pesticides, non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as acetyl salicylic acid and mesoprostol, polychlorinated biphenyls, polybrominated diphenyl ethers, phthalates, and many different cosmetics and lotions. Now the full list of chemicals expectant mothers should avoid can be found at the Environmental Protection Agency's website. Folks, please, please do not discount this advice from the University of York. Autism is a devastating condition and is on the increase. 50 years ago, only one in 500 babies born were born with autism. Now that number is one in 70. When the general media releases news on autism, they act as though we have no idea why so many children are now born with autism, but we do know. But the answer is complicated and multifactorial. There is no one reason. Dr. Aim, doctors Ames and Patrick from the University of California at Berkeley have made great strides into what truly causes autism. From their work, we know that we have more autistic children today because of a chain of events that includes poor quality foods and subsequent nutrient deficiencies, including vitamin D deficiency, increasing exposure to environmental pollutants, along with receiving too many vaccines that result in brain inflammation that never calms. There has been extensive research that shows if we reduce our pollution exposure, we can make true inroads to reducing autism risk and hence this report. Expectant mothers, please go to the Environmental Protection Agency website and search prenatal exposure autism. And you will find over 600 chemicals that are in our environment right now, well-intended agents, but toxic nonetheless, like flame retardants and plasticizers and more. Reduce these chemicals and increase your chances of having a healthy baby. Now, if this is too daunting of a task, and I understand that, remember the first trimester is the critical time for purity. And make every effort to make your home an organic home. Cured meats cause cancer. Researchers from the World Health Organization reviewed over 800 studies to find. There is convincing evidence to now classify cured and processed meats as carcinogens. The study found each 50 gram portion of cured meats daily increases the risk of cancer by 18% and the risk increases with increased consumption. The study also found the regular consumption of cured meats increases the risk of over 12 different types of cancer. The study review stopped short of classifying all red meat as carcinogenic, but they report it probably increases the risk of cancer. Well, folks, I've been telling you for some time now that cured meats are bad for us. After exhaustive effort, this study concludes the regular consumption of cured meats increases your risk of a variety of cancers. And I wholeheartedly agree with that conclusion, but there is more. Previous research has also found cured meats increases the risk of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and even emphysema, and it does so dramatically. Now, I do not believe that pasture-raised organic meats free of hormones and growth stimulators cause cancer, but when, especially when eaten in modest portions. It is when humans add unnatural agents to promote animal growth and preserve product shelf life that things go wrong. Meat is a highly nutritious food. 
Small portions are satisfying and provide abundant fuel for health. I might also add that all the cured forms of meat are now available as uncured fresh meats that must be consumed promptly or frozen to protect from food poisoning. It is also important to note those who absorb too much iron, such as the condition called hemochromatosis, must be careful with red meats as they are an excellent source of this essential mineral. Well, today on Your Health, we'd like to discuss an ancient remedy, olive leaf extract. It is well known that olive oil is good for us, but the leaf of the same tree also provides health benefits. Stay tuned to learn more. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December is a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Dr. Richard Becker and this is your health at a glance. If you have an irresistible urge to move when you're falling asleep, you may have restless leg syndrome. This is a puzzling but common condition. It causes you to feel odd sensations relieved only by moving your legs. You wake up often and usually suffer from insomnia. Different medical conditions cause restless leg syndrome such as iron deficiency, magnesium deficiency, varicose veins, pregnancy, fibromyalgia, peripheral neuropathy, Parkinson's disease, or a side effect of taking antidepressants or antihistamines. Supplementing your diet with vitamins C, E, D, and magnesium may be helpful. If you are iron deficient, take iron only if a doctor tells you to do so. If you can correct the underlying cause, you can quiet your legs and sleep through the night. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, Maitake, Rishi, Shiitake, and Cordyceps sinensis. At BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing mushroom Cordyceps sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It is such a blessing to be with you this joyous season. Well, we have a lot of great things to talk about, and today's show is going to be really great and really fun. We get to talk about olive leaf. This is another one of those herbs with biblical significance, which we find so interesting and endears it to us. So, Richard, the olive leaf, what a great story. It really is. It, it, the olive tree and all its products has played a significant role throughout ancient times and in modern times as well. It is a symbol of peace, harmony, and victory. It's still part of the Olympic Games today, the concept of the olive. Uh, Egyptians used olive oil to mummify their pharaohs. The victors in Greece wore crowns made of the olive branch. And it's used in the Bible for anointing and an emblem of purification. The olive tree has biblical importance. It's mentioned 80 times in the Bible. Olive trees were planted in the Garden of Gethsemane in Jerusalem. And according to tree ring analysis, 
uh, these trees are 2,000 years of age or possibly even more. This makes it entirely possible to go to the Garden of Gethsemane and walk among trees that Christ walked among. That is a moving thought, isn't it? It really is. That's an amazing thing to think about. Today, olive trees are cultivated in many areas of the world. South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, all over the Mediterranean, and of course California now is known worldwide as an excellent producer of olive uh, and products. A symbol of abundance, glory, wisdom, victory, peace, and hope. I'm reminded of the story of Noah. When the bird finally came back with a message of hope, it was an olive branch, olive leaf. Isn't that something? Also called liquid gold, olive oil major component of the Mediterranean diet and olive leaf has been a foundational herbal medicine uh, for thousands of years in that region of the country. Modern scientists are looking at the Mediterranean for indicators of how to eat a healthier diet and this has led to the benefits of the Mediterranean diet. Now, as with all things in modern times, there's controversy and everything, but we've all heard the concept that the Mediterranean way of eating is the healthiest. And I recently, just this week, read a study that tried to analyze what is it in the Mediterranean way of eating that really conveys all of these benefits. And their conclusion was it was the olive tree products, olive oil, olive leaf, and the olive fruit. It is the keystone food to the Mediterranean way of eating. And when you study the health benefits of the olive tree and its products, you'll see why. It's really quite remarkable. The Mediterranean way of eating lowers heart attack risk, stroke risk, hypertension and vascular disease risk. It lowers your risk of obesity and developing both type 1 and 2 diabetes. Type 1 and 2. It lowers your risk of a variety of cancers, lowers your risk of autoimmune disease such as lupus or rheumatoid arthritis. It lowers your chance of osteoarthritis and chronic pain. It even reduces your risk of dementia and the neurodegenerative diseases. That's amazing. There is a diet that's a subcaloric diet. Let's say your body needs 2,000 calories a day to do its job. If you eat 1,500 calories, it is thought that that will prolong your life. But you know what the problem with that is? Nobody can follow that diet. They'll follow it for six months, a year, they lose a bunch of weight, and they feel deprived, and they abandon the diet. I, I, it's ridiculous to ask people to eat a subcaloric diet to prolong life, what? Six months, maybe a year, who knows? Nobody knows for sure how long that would be. The best diet out there, folks, the Mediterranean diet. And as the study shows, it's the olive that does it for us. What do we know about olive leaf, this medicinal agent? Everybody, uh, we all know about the olive oil. We all know about the olives. But what about the olive leaf? That's the one that is really emerging. Two years ago, there were 135 studies at, at uh, National Institutes of Health on olive leaf extract and its medicinal use. Today, there's 207 around that number. That is a 53% growth in just months. The notion of olive leaf and its uses is exploding, folks. Here's the idea. They see the benefits of olive oil and the fruit olive, and the leaf is actually a byproduct to all of this production because they have to prune the trees. They, leave, uh, they, they lose the leaf. Why not use this for something? So the scientists want to know what could we all use it for, and that's what we're going to talk about today is the new information on olive leaf and how we can use it better. <clears throat> If we go back into the history, history of the scientific investigation, go all the way back to the Napoleonic era in the early 1800s, olive leaf was used to treat severe fevers. Advanced to the mid-1900s, pharmaceutical journal, British soldiers were given olive leaf extract to help prevent malaria. Quinine replaced it, but with quinine resistance, they're looking at olive leaf again to help prevent malaria. In the 1960s, Italian researchers observed that olive leaf extract contained a substance called oleoropin, and when given, it lowered blood pressure. 
and they discovered it's a powerful antioxidant. And further, they did, have done research and have extracted some 48 different compounds, 31 polyphenolic antioxidants, and of these, at least 16 and four metabolites are absorbed in the system. So they know now what is exactly in olive leaf extract, and they know that oleoropin, hydroxytyrosol, and oleocanthal are the primary antioxidants in all the extract that give it such remarkable health-promoting properties. What are those? One of the most common and ancient uses for olive leaf extract is its use as an antibiotic, an antimicrobial. Uh, Upjohn Research, early 60s, found olive leaf inhibited the growth of every virus they tested. Now, that's not all viruses known to humankind, but every one they tested against, it inhibited the growth of the virus. They also tested against a variety of bacteria and parasites and protozoas, and olive leaf inhibited the growth of all of those. Uh, Janai Medical and Dental College in Pakistan, olive leaf extract, potent inhibitor of a variety of pathogens, Staphylococcus, Salmonella, and Pseudomonas. Other research centers have found it effective against gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria, mycoplasm, that's your, one of your community-acquired pneumonias and the, the walking pneumonia germ. It's effective against mycoplasm, and antibiotics aren't very helpful. That was, we treated hundreds of cases of, of that in medical practice, and you know, erythromycin was a drug of choice, but it never really seemed to help much. Let's consider olive leaf, and the researchers are doing that now. Antibiotic-resistant organisms, we hear about this all the time, olive leaf knocks them right down. There's no resistance developed yet to olive leaf extract, and it probably won't. University of Arizona, olive leaf extract is very effective in preventing the spoilage and contamination of salad greens from salmonella. You know, meats are no longer the number one cause of food poisoning today, folks. It's greens now. The fruits and ve vegetables that are grown on the ground, they're most likely to be contaminated. And this has been one of the areas of increased research is how olive leaf can be used to mix among salad greens to inhibit the growth of these pathogens that make si people sick. Uh, Journal of Science and Food and Agriculture, olive leaf extract is among the best natural antifungal agents to prevent mold contamination contamination of animal silage and feed. So we have all these extra olive leaves in the olive orchard and the farmer is learning to mix a little of that in with their silage and it keeps it preserved so the animals can have it all winter long and help promote weight gain in the, uh, the feedlot animals. It's a good idea. Uh, study in virology, the medical journal tests 150 plants against rotavirus. Olive leaf, so 150 different herbal plants to see if they would work against rotavirus, which is responsible for 500,000 infant deaths worldwide every year. This is no small problem, folks. Olive leaf and four others were the most effective of all 150 plants. We're learning of ways to use this olive leaf. Just like the oil prevents heart disease, um, olive leaf can help treat infections. It's a very potent inhibitor of rotavirus, very common cause of diarrhea, especially in children. Adults can get it too. Multiple research centers. Olive leaf is effective against influenza, colds, um, Epstein-Barr virus, hepatitis B virus, herpes simplex virus, Staphylococcus aureus, uh, amoebic encephalitis, leishmaniasis, streptococcus, shingles, pneumococcus, tuberculosis, the urinary tract infecting coliforms, uh, dental infections, and even HIV. Powerful antimicrobial, and this is one of our most common uses we see today is olive leaf for chronic yeast infections, sinus infections, uh, skin infections, and on and on. When we return from the break, let's talk about olive leaf and its antioxidant abilities. We'll be right back. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. 
We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. Becker, and this is your health at a glance. Do you want to maintain your mental clarity? With people living longer, we need more research into the ways to lower the risk of dementia. Studies are showing us that people who regularly read books, complete puzzles, or solve word games like the Sunday crossword puzzle maintain their mental abilities longer than people who don't. We also preserve memory by maintaining social activities, such as volunteering, attending religious services, or regularly talking with friends and neighbors. And diet plays a big role as well. It's important to eat a nutritious diet free from heavy metals and chemical pollutants and full of vitamins and the essential fatty acids which power the brain. These simple and important steps will help keep you mentally healthy for many years to come. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. Innovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. Bionovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the auto ship program for additional savings. Call today. We're back having a great discussion on olives and all that goes with the olive leaf, the olive trees, and it's just great. Well, I have got to let you know it is holiday savings time at Bio Innovations. Best prices of the season and free shipping on orders over $50. Of course, that's in the mainland USA, so you don't want to miss that one. Isn't this just interesting about the olive, though? This is just fantastic. The Mediterranean diet, I tell you, it is a diet that makes you feel good. Yes. So, Richard, the olive is at the heart of the diet, as we've discussed, and as we know, since that's mm -hmm. how we cook. But all of this other information about the leaf, this is so amazing. It is. It is the most abundant source of the good things in the olive tree. Mm -hmm. it's right there in the leaf. Uh, olive oil contains some, the fruit does, but the leaf is the most, and, and we should use it. Take advantage of that gift. The uh, Journal of Molecular Nutrition and Food Research did a study to find, yeah, olive leaf is full of antioxidants, but do we absorb those into our bloodstream? Does it do you any good? Because it's got to get in you before it does you any good, and they found absolutely. Oleropin and the other antioxidants are well absorbed. They even enter into the human cell not just in the bloodstream, but into our cells. University of Milan olive leaf prevents the oxidation of cholesterol plaques. They proved it. At least nine studies have done this. It confirms olive leaf's antioxidant ability, a very potent and very convincing evidence of the Mediterranean diet's effect in olive as a central feature of it. A recent study from, it's so effective, folks, get this. If you forget, Get everything in this talk today. Remember this. Mayo Clinic study finds two to three tablespoons of olive oil a day lowers inflammation and reduces endothelial dysfunction. Two to three tablespoons of olive oil a day will prevent heart disease, consistently prevent heart disease. Four tablespoons a day will reverse heart disease. That's what they're saying. I interpreted it for you. Mayo Clinic, among the best in the world, Olive oil will do that. Let's add some olive leaf to it and really get those antioxidant levels up. 
Iranian study, yes, Iran does studies, and we should take advantage of their knowledge, too. Olive leaf protects kidneys from antibiotic-induced kidney damage. Gentamicin, powerful antibiotic used for severe infections. We save it. It's also very toxic on the kidneys. We save it for the tough infections for that reason. And they found if you give olive leaf with the gentamicin, it protects the kidneys. You know, that antibiotic can also damage the hearing. I did not find a study, but I would, I would suspect that olive leaf would protect the ears as well, the hearing. Turkish study, olive leaf protects genes from oxidative damage from permethrin pesticides. You know, we talk a lot about our polluted world today on this program and pesticides. No one wants to live in a bug-filled house. I get that. So people use pesticides. Protect yourself from the damage, at least in part, with powerful antioxidants like olive leaf. That's interesting. Serbia. Lab animals, olive leaf antioxidant protects against stroke. Turkish study, olive leaf protects pancreatic cells from oxidative damage, decreases the risk of pancreatitis. We have found uh, recurrent pancreatitis can be reduced. The frequency and the pain of the attacks can be reduced with powerful antioxidants. Because it, basically what happens in pancreatitis, digestive enzymes are released and it destroys the, the uh, organ. The organ that makes it no longer has its self-protecting mechanism. And these digestive enzymes, they digest the pancreas. It's very painful, pancreatitis. But powerful antioxidants calms that down. And olive leaf is one of those studied and found to be very effective in helping with the pain and frequency of pancreatitis. Let's see, olive leaf and blood pressure. Blood pressure, this one is very important. I, we get so many people asking, you know, my blood pressure's up. I want a natural agent. These medicines, I can't find one. The side effects are just prohibitive. Don't you have something natural to help with blood pressure? Well, number one's vitamin D. Please, be on the vitamin D. But olive leaf is beautiful. It's one of the earliest uses of olive leaf is blood pressure. European Journal of Nutrition, uh, 52 patients with atherosclerotic uh, hardening of the arteries, and that leads to elevated blood pressure, right? Double-blind placebo-controlled. It helps to stop the endothelial dysfunction that leads to hypertension. Spain University of Granada study of 40 identical twins, 40 identical twins, open study. They were given either 500 milligrams or 1,000 milligrams of olive leaf extract. They found the low-dose olive leaf, the 500, reduced at 6 systolic points, and the high-dose, 13 systolic points. That's as good or better than the medicines used, approved by the FDA for blood pressure. It's not unusual, the typical blood pressure medicine, 3 to 5 points reduction, that's typical. Yeah, you can do that, you can get your drug approved. Olive leaf, up to 13 points, that's, that's at the 1,000 milligram dose, and many people will take more than that, more than that. No change in controls. You know, it was a double blind. They did it right. Blocks calcium channels. Works similarly to deltiazem, verapamil, nicotropin. These are your very common calcium channel blockers used for blood pressure. It works in a similar mechanism. At least four modern area studies have confirmed olive leaf extract lowers blood pressure. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Well, no wonder the Mediterranean diet improves health and prevents disease. We're learning exactly how this works. And we can really amp that up by supplementing olive leaf extract. You know, I've had people say to me, you know, I really can't stand. I say, you should eat some olives. They say, oh, I can't stand olives. I hear that all the time. People tell me that all the time. And they say, well, that olive oil, it's so expensive. I don't know if, well, please take the olive oil. Please eat the olives and please take olive leaf. If you can't eat the olives, take the olive leaf. It's a good compromise. It's a very good way to do this. Phytomedicine University of Indonesia, olive leaf extract, 500 milligram, twice a day, that's 1,000 a day, equals captopril, 12 and a half milligrams by, uh, twice a day. It lowered blood pressure, 12 systolic and 5 diastolic points. So we have ample uh, information that olive leaf helps with blood pressure. Let's get started on inflammation because inflammation drives heart disease, inflammation drives cancer, inflammation drives autoimmune disease and chronic pain and suffering. Olive leaf helps with that inflammation. University of Belgrade in Serbia, animal study olive leaf reduced the autoimmune inflammation associated with the onset of type 1 diabetes. Researchers are calling for studies in humans. 
Uh, animal study, olive leaf lessens the inflammation of multiple sclerosis and other neurodegenerative inflammatory disorders. Um, Phyto research, animal study, olive leaf extract is highly effective in relieving induced arthritis in animal uh, studies. Yeah, studying humans is expensive. And in animals, we can learn so much about the physiology. So they induce an arthritic process in a laboratory animal, and they find that uh, olive leaf extract is very helpful for that. Here's another one on pain. University of Kerman in Iran, this is an animal study, but they found oleuropin, the antioxidant, the primary antioxidant in olive leaf extract, completely counters morphine tolerance. So what this is, if you're in a chronic pain condition and you're taking more and more uh, narcotic pain medicine, you may be able to counter that tolerance and keep your dose down, low dose effective narcotic uh, pain relief if you add oleuropin. Now this is an animal study. We haven't done it in humans yet, but they choose certain animals to do this when because it's a standard way of studying pain in animals because it's replicated in humans. Olive leaf extract helps to counter morphine tolerance. Fascinating. Let's go to a break. We'll be back with more with cancer in olive leaf. Hello, I'm Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season we hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family merry christmas and a happy healthy new year Dr. Richard Becker and this is your health at a glance. Our health depends on the choices we make every day and few conditions are as dependent on our choices as diabetes. So here is your daily diabetic checklist. Number one, take your diet seriously every day. Eat lean protein and leafy vegetables. Number two, sugars and starches raise blood glucose, so reduce them in your diet. Number three, check your blood glucose and record the readings every day. Number four, take your medication daily and don't skip. And number five, try to exercise every day. It will help you take off weight, which will help your body regulate blood sugar better. If you are diabetic, this is your quick daily checklist that could make life better. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the auto ship program for additional savings. We're back. I've just got to let you know it is holiday savings time at BioInnovations. Great prices. Good time to get what you need 
best prices of the season and free shipping on orders over $50 in the mainland USA, so don't miss on that one. Well, isn't this interesting about olive? Now, Richard's got another subject about olive leaf. This one's going to be really good. This is olive leaf and cancer. Mm -hmm. This is really, really going to be a good section. Yes, olive leaf is a powerful cancer fighter, and they've been able to prove that it works that way through its antioxidant activity, anti-angiogenic, and apoptosis. What do I mean by that? Anti-angiogenic, for a tumor to grow, it has to have a blood supply. You know, bigger tumor, more blood. If you can inhibit the blood vessel growth, you can starve off that cancer. That's one of the new areas they're researching to try to improve in cancer treatment because it's less toxic. You know, it, we're not killing the cells directly, we're choking off the blood supply, and that's less toxic to the patient as well. So the blood supply to the cancer has its own unique aberrations to it, and you can inhibit the cancer blood supply while leaving your normal blood supply alone. It doesn't even affect it. Pretty amazing. In fact, it, olive leaf would actually improve blood flow to normal cells. So that's how it works. Uh, a study from Saudi Arabia, from their dental college there, double-blind placebo-controlled chemo for cancer, olive leaf reduced inflammation producing inflammatory pro products and lowered oral mucositis scores. Many times in cancer therapy, they have to stop because the patient's anemic. The blood is so suppressed, they can't go on. Other times they have to stop because the mouth is so sore the patient can't eat anything. The patient will die if they can't eat. And it's not always a good thing to do parenteral nutrition. You know, sometimes we do that, we'll put the food right into the veins, special food, of course, but there are problems with that. It's much better if the patient's intestinal tract can be used, but if the mouse is so sore, well, guess what? Olive leaf extract calms the inflammation in the mouth with oral mucositis secondary to chemotherapy. Pretty amazing. Journal of Cancer Research and Clinical Oncology, glioblastoma multiforma is the most common and most lethal form of primary malignant brain tumors. Turkey's researchers showed olive leaf extract modulates messenger 1 RNA expression, thus severely inhibiting glioblastoma. It's also approved, improves the response to chemotherapy. Brain cancer, tough one, glioblastoma glioblastoma multiforma. Olive leaf extract could play a role in this. Nutritional support for the cancer patient. International Journal of Hepatology, olive leaf extract prevents induced hepatocellular carcinoma in test tube and animal studies. Number one cause of uh, cancer death in Africa is primary hepatocellular carcinoma, cancer that originates from the liver. Here in America, most liver cancer is metastasized to the liver. It's different in other parts of the world. And you, we know why. It's because they eat spoiled, fungal-infested foods. They have to. They're hungry. They don't have anything else to eat. So olive leaf extract can help that. Italian study, test tube study, olive leaf calmed the inflammation of prostatitis while slowed the growth of prostate cancer. This is in, um, you know, it's a test tube study, but it's a start. Another one, olive leaf extract induces apoptosis in human chronic myelogenous leukemia. It also causes abnormal leukemia cells to differentiate into normal monocytes and macrophages. That's really an amazing study. Oxidative medicine and cell longevity, 2014. If you want to learn more about it, multiple studies. Olive leaf slows the growth of a variety of cancers, including lung cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, kidney cancers, prostate and oral cancer, leukemias, glioblastomas, and melanoma. Mediterranean diet uh, lowers cancer rates. You know, oftentimes we know this is a fact. The cancer comes on, but the body fights it back, and they never know it. In fact, it's thought that the typical 80-year-old has fought off and won six times a battle with cancer. And you know diet plays a major role in that, absolutely. Olive leaf and diabetes, next topic. Olive leaf protects obese diabetic laboratory animals from non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. As we gain weight, as the blood sugars go up, the liver accumulates fat. The calories have to go somewhere and they go to the liver and fat. And guess what? That is highly inflammatory. It's so inflammatory, if left unchecked, continued on, it will end in cirrhosis and liver failure. 
That is not a common endpoint, but it is a possibility. And the fatty liver is very common, but you don't want it to go on to hepatitis and cirrhosis. That, you just don't want that. And olive leaf extract is capable of attenuating that inflammation, a very useful agent for the diabetic. Israel study, human adults with type 2 diabetes, 14 weeks of olive leaf extract, 500 milligrams a day. That's a low dose. It lowered your long-term blood sugar. Your average long-term blood sugar was lowered. It lowered fasting insulin levels. It delayed starch digestion. So in other words, when you eat a meal, it doesn't spike a blood glucose so quickly. It slows it so your body can handle it. And it improved glucose hemostasis. So your parameters of glucose control improved in the diabetic. Plus you're getting the antioxidant protection. New Zealand study, 500 milligrams of oleoropin given to middle-aged overweight men for 12 weeks. They're at risk for diabetes, carrying the weight at risk. 15% improved insulin action, 28% improved pancreatic B cell response. In other words, the mechanisms that control your glucose levels improved blood glucose comes down. Increased fasting interleukin-6, increased insulin-like gro like growth factors. So if you're at risk for diabetes, the olive leaf extract will help you. Down regulates the gene that controls fat disposition. It's amazing, all this stuff. I'm sorry I can't do a real good job of getting this to you, but it actually affects the genes in your body that helps you to regulate your glucose levels. No wonder there's fewer type 2 diabetics than those who eat the Mediterranean way. Let's do this. Let's go to our break. When we return, we have a potpourri, as it were, a variety of research projects on all of these. Some of these are just amazing. We'll be right back. Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year. And Tell a friend about the savings or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy new year. the days pass on by. Whether it's living for the weekend, waiting till the kids come home, or waiting for whatever is next, don't waste your life waiting on tomorrow when there is still today. Benjamin Franklin said, do you love life? Then do not squander time, for that's the stuff life is made of. The Lord did not give us today to sit and wait on tomorrow. What we do today shapes our tomorrows. As David wrote in Psalm 90:12. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Tin and L-carnitine are among the most important nutrients our bodies use for energy production. Deficiency in these key nutrients can cause serious complications to your health. In fact, statin drugs that are used to lower cholesterol may deplete your CoQ10 levels. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10 with L-carnitine. Now providing support for cardiovascular health is easier than ever before. CoQ10 and L-carnitine support a healthy heart naturally, as nature intended. And our formulation provides 300% greater absorption of CoQ10 than similar products, using a technology so effective it's patented. 
Myo Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back. Just a quick reminder before we go on with the show. It is holiday savings time at BioInnovations. Great prices all month long and free shipping on orders over $50. So don't miss out on that one. Well, Richard, you have quite a few stories that are just various research yeah. studies now on olive leaf. How about wound healing? Having trouble, uh -huh. this would be very applicable to diabetes or anybody who's had suffered some trauma. 87% improved wound contraction. 35% improved wound tensile strength. That's amazing. You, you know, the uh, foot ulcers in a diabetic and how hard it is to get those to heal, olive leaf would definitely be helpful there. They also found that it prevents the end glycation uh, end products of diabetes. You know, the stuff that when the blood sugar's high, I think of it as the body creates a toxic smoke because there's so much sugar in the system and that smoke is damaging. It's not really smoke, but I just think of it that way. The, the scientists call it advanced glycation end products. And that's the stuff that damages the nerves, the capillaries, the organs and diabetes and ultimately prevents it, completely attenuates it according to one researcher, Journal of Medi Medicinal Foods fascinating study. Cartilage damage. Olive leaf extract improves cartilage healing in an animal model. How many have damaged the cartilage in their knee? It can heal if the damage isn't too great and they found that olive leaf improves that healing. Improves it. Cartilage damage. Human trial. This one. Oleoropin olive leaf extract improves pain scores and osteoarthritis of the knee. Probably because it's healing better. Makes sense. Osteoarthritis of the knee. All, olive leaf extract helps the pain. European Journal of Nutrition. Olive leaf extract inhibits enzymes, systems known to drive osteoporosis. Osteo thinning bones, it's an inflammatory condition. And if you can calm the inflammation, this is the theory with olive leaf extract, they've been able to prove that it slows down osteoporosis. And this was a human study. Well, the Mediterranean diet lower rates of osteoporosis. This is how you do it, folks. It's amazing. Archives of Biochemistry and Biophysics, olive leaf extract modulates lactoperoxidase, a key step in humoral immunity by a novel mechanism. Let me interpret. Olive leaf extract improves your immune response. When the flu comes to town, you'll be better able to fight it. If cancer starts to emerge, you'll be able to fight it better. So not only is olive leaf extract a powerful antibiotic, but it improves your immune response. This is truly a gift. When you, when you understand all that it can do, I am, I am humbled. It's just amazing. What a gift. Mount Sinai study, olive leaf supplements used to fight high levels of lead and mercury toxins in 9-11 workers. Remember the ones that went into the cloud when everybody else was running? Those people are sick and they're still sick today. And they found that olive leaf extract is helpful for those because it chelates out the junk, helps chelate out the toxins. Biomedical Research uh, International olive leaf extract attenuates the effects of diazinon poisoning. Pesticide poisoning helps to your body get rid of it, chelates it out. Algeria, olive leaf extract diminishes lead deposits in the brain of lead poisoned rats. So if you've been around lead and you need to get it out, olive leaf is a good way to help you do that. Rejuvenation research, olive leaf extract reduces cell damage and biomarkers of cell death in an animal model of Parkinson's disease. Lower rates of neurodegenerative diseases in the Mediterranean. This is one possible explanation. The olive leaf, uh, the olive product antioxidants calms the inflammation of the brain in neurodegenerative diseases. That's amazing. Reperfusion injury. Olive leaf extract provides cerebral protection from reperfusion injury. What we mean by we all experience periods of time with low circulation. And this causes damage. We, say we sit, sit in the car for a long time. You know how you get sore? You get up, you move around, the blood flows better, but you're doing damages with that. Now, go to the extreme scenario when we're on a heart-lung machine and doctors are working on your heart. 
No machine can do what a good, healthy heart and lungs can do. So there are damages that occur, and they found in that extreme setting, olive leaf prevents the damage. That's amazing. Let's see. Phytomedicine olive leaf extract shows remarkable protection from stroke damage in animal model by modulating the brain's lipid. It's the lipids that become very inflamed in the brain, and the brain's 70% fats, lipids, and oils, so that makes sense. You calm that inflammation, you help to prevent the damage of the stroke. German study olive leaf significantly inhibits, pay attention gout patients, significantly inhibits xanthine oxidase, an enzyme related to the production of uric acid in the emergence of gout. We have drugs for that, allopurinol inhibits that, but that's a drug, and you should see the list of side effects of that drug. It's very long and very serious, some of them. But all of leaf, none of those side effects, and it inhibits that, that enzyme, too, that makes the uric acid. It'll lower your uric acid levels. That's amazing. Case study, three-year course of ADHD resolved. Treating for yeast with olive leaf extract. This is what I see the most using olive leaf extract for people to help control their chronic yeast problems. Gut dysbiosis and the asthma and everything that goes along, the fatigue and the headaches and everything with the chronic yeast syndrome. Olive leaf, boom. And this child, a three year problem of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and they treated for yeast with olive leaf, and that kid doesn't need any more medicine because he's tuned in and he's doing his studies without problems. This is the kind of thing you can do with natural agents, folks. But you're never going to see a drug ad for it on TV. It's just not going to happen because there's no huge profits with it, right? You have to read and study for your own. Now, let's summarize real quick before the break. Olive leaf summary. What does it do? It's a potent antioxidant and it acts as redux plus cell signaling. It affects your cell's mechanisms. It turns on your own antioxidant mechanisms that God gave you. So it acts as a chemical antioxidant and it works with your cells to improve your antioxidant ability. It is an immune modulator. It even improves immune response in difficult diabetes cases. It's a potent antimicrobial with no evidence of pathogen resistance. Effective against bacteria, viruses, parasites, fungi, candida, you name it, olive leaf extract can be helpful. It is the keystone component of the Mediterranean diet. Olives, olive oil, and olive leaf extract. Exceptionally effective in preventing cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and even cancers. It's remarkably effective in lowering blood pressure. It helps to relieve pain while it calms allergies, and it is a nutritionally dense food. A couple capsules a day, that's all it takes. It's amazing stuff. When we return, let's talk about who should consider taking olive leaf extract. What kind of diseases have you dealt with? Maybe it could help you. We'll be right back. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Cindy Becker for your health at a glance. Do you remember the questions you wanted to ask your doctor after you've left the doctor's office? That's happened to me, so here's my strategy to get ready for a doctor visit. If it's a first time appointment, be sure your medical records arrive ahead of you. The doctor can review your history quickly. This leaves more time for discussion. For 
every visit, write down your questions at home. Include a list of medications you take. When you arrive, fill out the medical history forms concisely and accurately. Attach a copy of your questions with the forms so the doctor is aware of your questions before he or she steps into the exam room. Bring your friend for support and have a notepad to take notes. Before you leave, have all your prescriptions. And here's hoping you don't go to the doctor very often. With your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Hello, I'm Cindy Becker. And I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Are you thinking about your health as we approach a new year? Well, many of us do, even though our health is important every day of the year. If you have a wellness plan in mind, December's a month with special holiday prices. Plus, shipping within the continental U.S. is free for all orders over $50. We'd like to thank you for your continued support. It's because of you that we are able to provide this great educational service. So call us today to restock your supplements for the coming year and tell a friend about the savings. Or order online at bioinnovations.net for the best prices of the season. We hope the new year brings you happiness and better health for your entire family. Merry Christmas. And a happy, healthy New Year. Your health is brought to you by Bio Innovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back discussing the amazing benefits of olive leaf. Okay, Richard, yes. I know time is short. Okay, so who can benefit from taking olive leaf extract? Well, I think everyone can benefit from the health benefits of olive leaf extract as a health maintenance and disease prevention plan. It's all part of that. And you know, it's interesting to note the most bitter olives, the ones that really make you cringe, they have the most of these antioxidants. And, mm -hmm. and so the black ones that are very mild, they're okay, but they don't have the that depth of antioxidant because these polyphenolic antioxidants have a bitter pungent taste. And so the more there is, the more the harder it is to eat. And a lot of young people don't like those bitter olives. I understand that. But they can swallow a pill, olive leaf extract, and they can use olive oil too. Absolutely. Cardiovascular disease, coronary artery disease. Remember, four tablespoons of olive oil a day will reverse that. Complement that with olive leaf and you're on the right path. Peripheral artery disease, hypertension, stroke, all patients like that could absolutely benefit. Cancer, cancer therapy, side effects and complications. Very good use of olive leaf in cancer. Diabetes, controlling its complications, controlling your blood glucose, prevention of heart disease and all the complications of the cancer associated with uh, uh, diabetes. Infectious disease, you know one of the most powerful incidences you'll see is chronic sinus. You know how that just runs you down and the allergies get you going and you get the yeast overgrowth in the sinus? Oh, what a mess. Olive leaf extract is awesome for that. It really helps. Anything to do with the kidneys. If you have kidney troubles, of course, the diabetic would be benefit there. Candida, yeast, intestinal dysbiosis, chronic viral syndromes, shingles, uh, chronic fatigue, a variety of skin conditions, including psoriasis. Interesting research on it. Don't have the time right now, but there's emerging in uh, research on psoriasis and olive leaf. Pain syndromes, you're inflamed with pain. Chronic pain, gout, degenerative disc disease, ruptured disc, spinal stenosis, it's a great natural detoxifant. Uh, respiratory conditions, allergies, asthma, a uh, sinusitis. Um, boy, all of these things. These, these are the top 10 killers, you know? These are the things that America's ailing for. How do you know when you have a good product? Look for that standardized oleoropin, 20% and more. Now you're doing the right thing. Start with 500 milligrams a day. You can go up much higher than that, but most about 1,000 milligrams a day is good, and you should have good results with that. So now you're current on olive leaf extract, the ancient remedy for modern health. Thank you for your kind attention. Hope to see you tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Happy holidays, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. In the pit of my stomach, I knew, I knew it was going to be positive. I wouldn't be in this situation if, I would have even been taking it if I didn't think it was going to be positive, but I didn't want to admit that. I turned it over and it, there were two lines. It was a positive test. 
I remember just being like, oh no. Like that was all that really went through my head. I, I didn't know what to do. Hear the stories and experience the freedom on real life. This week on Our Jewish Roots, we begin our examination of the kings of ancient Israel and Judah in our series, Kings and Kingdom, with dramatic reenactments 